Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm really excited to do because this one has been super requested recently. I'm gonna be showing what is in kind of like my makeup essentials bag. And basically where this came from is I have been in the process of moving to a new city. So my house was on the market for a very long time and then we were packing up the house to come to a new city. So as I was packing up all of my makeup, I basically had a couple bags left out and I had the items in there that you know I would continually reach for, um, the items that I just didn't want packed away yet I didn't want put in a new city and I've made reference to that in a few videos and on social media and I've had so many people request will you please share what is in those bags we want to see what products you have pulled out that you want to continually keep using so that is what I'm gonna do for today's video I have two bags behind me I will share what is in there uh, what I kind of keep consistently wearing as my house was kind of split between two cities for a while <laughs> and uh, yeah why don't we just go ahead and jump into it so I have two different bags here so I have this one here it's from Victoria's Secret. I've had it forever. And then I have this pink one here that I was also putting some items in, which I honestly, I don't even know where I got this one, but I've had it for a very long time too. So in addition to these two bags, I do also do a Shop My Sash series on my channel every single month. So I did also have that bag pulled out onto my desk as well. I can link my most recent Shop My Stash if you wanna see it. So between these two bags and then the Shop My Stash, I felt like I had plenty of options for each category. A bunch of lip products on top, so I will go through these. I of course gave myself a lot of options <laughs> with the lip products, of course. Okay, so let's see here. For some of my lip products, I'll show you what I have on today. I lined my lips just really lightly with some MAC Whirl. This has been a favorite lip liner of mine for quite some time. It was actually my first like ever lip liner that I purchased was MAC Whirl. So I have a little bit of this lining my lips. And then I have two Persona glosses pulled out. The one that I have on today is in Peach. So that is what is on my lips. I really do like these glosses from Persona Cosmetics. I would definitely recommend them. I like Peach and then I also have Toffee pulled out. I can't find Honey. <laughs> honey is, is actually my favorite out of the three because it's just like a really nice nude i think it probably got packed into a box and then i couldn't find it anymore and i was trying to review these in my most recent makeup monthly and i could not find honey so i pulled out toffee and then i started wearing toffee and then peach is a really nice kind of like springy color and i felt like it would go with this look pretty good because i have some corals on and such um so i just keep reaching for peach and toffee now because I'm gonna be excited to unpack so I can find some things that I have not been able to find for a while and Honey is definitely one of them. And then some more lip products. I of course have my ColourPop Oh Snap Lip Liner. This of course was not, this of course had to, to be with me. It couldn't be packed into the next town. I was like, nope, ColourPop Oh Snap. Like look at how tiny this is. It started off as like a regular size pencil and I just sharpen it so much because I wear it all the time. Uh, I, of course, also have from Marc Jacobs, this is the Mocha Chocolate Lip Gloss Stick. I love this as well, especially with Oh Snap. I think that it's beautiful. A recent product that I've been loving, the Bite Beauty Flat White Lip Gloss. I reach for this so often, either with Whirl or with Oh Snap. I like them both, but I've definitely been reaching for that one quite a bit. And then two of my absolute favorites. These really don't go anywhere without me. And usually these are also in my purse. I just like to always have options in my purse for if we just go somewhere quickly, I always have something in there. If I didn't put on a lip product or if I need to touch up, these two are usually in there, but that means that they're essentials to me. So I thought that I would share them in here. That's the Dose of Colors Liquid Lipstick in Truffle. Absolute favorite of mine. And also Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. So I have a liquid lipstick and also um, a you know regular bowl lipstick that is in more of a matte formula so I just love these lip products so they definitely have to come with me uh, a few more lip products too that I have in here the ColourPop lip scrub the lippy scrub in by the bushel I, I like to just have this um, by my side for if I ever need to exfoliate my lips it's really nice to be able to do that so that's why I got tossed into my essentials bag I reviewed this one recently as well but it's just nice to have close to me and then also the Laneige lip glowy balm this is in a grapefruit so I've been trying this one out recently as well. And again, it's just something that I like to have pulled out, um, easy to have if I ever just feel like I need a little bit of like hydration, nourishment to my lips. I can use the one from Laneige. Like if I don't want to scrub, I can use the one from Laneige. So those are, I think, all of the lip products that I have out. I know that was quite a few. Nope, nope, there's another one. The NARS, yep. The NARS Afterglow Lip Balm in Orgasm. This has just been a favorite for a long time and usually this one is actually also in my purse is where this one usually goes. So I also wanted to pull that one out. I've, I've really loved on that for quite some time. Uh, let's see, for, I see some concealers on top here. I have four concealers. 
makes sense uh <laughs> so for concealers i feel like i have so many because a lot of times if i'm just doing something quick and easy I'll just use concealer. I won't use foundation. I only have one foundation and one CC cream and then four concealers. I recently posted kind of my everyday go-to glam glowy makeup look. I can link that one also. And that has kind of become my routine right now with just like this unpacking process and just and meeting people and not having a ton of time especially a lot of time to do my makeup i want to do something fast and easy but i look like pulled together and you know really presentable so i thought it would be fun to share a video like that so that's what i did in last friday's upload uh, but uh, for my concealers i of course have the Too faced born this way this is my one where if i'm not wearing foundation i'll go with this one because i just feel I just feel like it looks so good on the skin. I've done like my 10 minute makeup routine as well where I don't use foundation and this is the concealer that I'm using. It just blends so easily. It's nice and hydrating but you still get really good coverage at the same time. So of course the Too Faced Born This Way was definitely in there. Uh, also a favorite of mine, the Jouer Essential High Coverage a Liquid Concealer. This one had to stay out with me as well because it's just another favorite of mine. This is really nice and full coverage. It's not as hydrating as the Too Faced, but I just really do enjoy the coverage and how it kind of sets on the skin. I think that it's beautiful. And then I have two new ones um, kind of that I've just been trying out. So the e.l.f. 16 Hour Camo Concealer. I am trying to get a review ready for this one, so that's why I wanted to pull it out. It is what I have on my under eyes today. And this one here from Estee Lauder, I did just review it in my makeup monthly, but I still have it around. This is the Double Wear Instant Fix Concealer. I actually really like it, especially for this hydrating side. So it's a double-ended product and you have this like hydrating serum on one side with like a brush tip. And I feel like in the early mornings, especially when we had days where we were traveling from one city to the next city, I was doing my makeup in the car a lot with, as my husband was driving, I would do my makeup in the passenger seat. A lot of times I would prep my, my under eyes with this side and I just feel like it makes the concealer go on so much smoother and just, I don't it just kind of made me feel a little bit better about life you know uh, i do like the concealer side it doesn't have as much coverage as i tend to prefer but it's really hydrating it's a very liquidy concealer as well uh, but i have to say that it's kind of made it um sticking around in my bag because of this hydrating side which i kind of thought was gimmicky at first so it's funny that that's why i've ended up really enjoying the concealer but those are a few of my concealer options I have some different powders in here. So I have a loose powder and a pressed powder. I have the one from Charlotte Tilbury. This is actually in my 9 in 2019 project pan and I have the pan on it like I shared in my most recent update. Uh, but it's just a nice a lightweight powder. Um, so I grabbed this one out to keep going into my bag. And then I also have this little guy here from Fenty Beauty. I just got this recently. I think it was like a point perk or a bonus offer from Sephora. So just a little guy. So it's nice to be able to throw into the travel bag. Yeah, I really do like it. I've only tried it a handful of times. But again, I want to be able to review it. So that was why it was good to put into the bag. And then again, I have some options between a loose powder and a pressed powder. It's so interesting to me how different I feel my lighting setup is. Over here, my camera settings are the same and I still have my two soft boxes and they're pretty much in the same location as they were in the old place, but I feel like my videos look so much cooler than they did previously. I felt like those videos had like a warmer hue to them. And again, I've changed nothing with my settings or my lights. So I don't know. It's so interesting to try to get used to it, but it's all good. We're just doing our best. For blushes, I have a few few options on here as well. Uh, I of course have the Jouer Blush Duo in Adore Me, I believe this one is. So you have two different options. Really love the compact. I love that I have a mirror. Uh, I did actually at one point pack up my mirrors not thinking to leave one handheld mirror out. So I also have the bronzer duo pulled out in here and those have been really handy or like ones that came in my eyeshadow palettes because I was like, hello Samantha, why would you pack up your little mirrors? Both of them. I have two mirrors and I pack them both away instead of putting them into like my essentials bag or even just throwing one in my purse. I pack them both in boxes. Not smart. Okay, so I have this one from Jouer. I also have from Natasha Denona the mini blush and glow. I use this in Friday's video. So you have a glowy blush and then also a highlighter in here. 
and then also of course you are gonna see the buxom seychelles blush i love this blush i've been talking about it so much recently it's a beautiful glowy blush again as well i think it's stunning the blush i have on today is the one from the jouet palette for my primers i have this one here from charlotte tilbury the wonder glow instant soft focus beauty flash i've talked about this a lot on my channel it is such an expensive primer it's ridiculously expensive but i wear it all of the time like i wear it so often often <laughs> and uh, it gives such this like beautiful glow to the skin i can wear it alone i can wear it if i'm just using concealer like if i have the day where i'm just using concealer not foundation i almost always like 99 percent of the time this is the primer i'm going in with first and it just gives like this glow to the skin and it's beautiful and i also have in here a mini this is from smashbox the photo finish primerizer i'm almost out of this guy just one of my favorite primers so i thought if i didn't want something like kind of as glowy and intense as the charlotte tilbury i could use the smashbox still get a lot of nice hydration with it and i still think that it's a really good primer so gave myself a few primer options and then like i said i only have one foundation in here and that's from wander beauty i've just been loving this foundation i recommended it in my sephora vip sale recommendations video i just keep wearing it and wearing it and wearing it so again i haven't been doing a lot of like full-on looks um just because of everything that we've been doing and just time constraints and all of that so i only threw one in my essentials bag and it's the one from wander beauty i have the cc cream this is from herborean i also used this in friday's video just a nice lightweight cc cream kind of evens everything out and i've really been quite liking this one uh let's see i have a my brow products in here i just threw in the goof proof and the precisely my brow i just these are just what i wear all the time i have precisely my brow and my brows today but I knew that these two had to be pulled out because they never let me down. For highlights, I had to give myself some highlight options also. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, so from Dose of Colors, I have the I Love Sarah E in Bathe. This is the one that I'm wearing today. This one gives a little bit of a pink hue to it. And again, I do like the compact on it. And this one does have a mirror, which I quite enjoy. I also have the ColourPop of Flexitarian. This is in my 9 and 2019 Project Pan. I really like it for highlight. I also really like it for inner corner. And that Natasha Denona Blush Duo also has a highlight in there. I don't usually wear that one as a face highlight, but I do like it for inner corner and brow bone. I have from Pixie. This is a duo here. I thought it was nice because you kind of have like a rose gold and then more of like a champagne bronze. So just a little bit of options here with this glowy gloss glowy gossamer duo in delicate dew and then this is a newer product to me but i've just been really enjoying it this is the pure afterglow highlight and uh, i just think it's beautiful i reviewed it recently as well in a first impressions follow-up and i thought that it was gorgeous so i tried to give myself like a few different like color options with highlighters uh, so those were the ones that i ended up going with and pulling into my bag I have my eyeshadow primer from CoverGirl, the lid lockup, just really nice if I'm not using concealer, like I want like an actual eyelid primer. This one from CoverGirl is really nice. Uh, from Milk Makeup, I have an eyeliner. This is in bonus. It's what I have in my waterline today. It's kind of like a shimmery brown, and I really do like the Milk Makeup liners. They last for a really long time. If I wanted to do a liquid liner, which I've been doing a little bit more of like winged uh, liner looks recently, I have the Benefit Roller Liner Eyeliner. So a nice liquid liner option. And then for mascaras, I have three of them pulled out. The CoverGirl Exhibitionist. Again, I've reviewed this recently. It's a really solid mascara. It doesn't flake on me. I think it's great. I also have the Benefit Bad Gal Bang. It's not necessarily a favorite mascara, but it really makes my top lashes super long. I get transfer on the bottom lashes. So if I'm using this on the top, I'll generally use the CoverGirl on the bottom. But it just makes my lashes look really, really long. And I haven't been wearing a ton of false lashes recently just because I don't have time for it and they're all packed and all of that so if i want super length like super lengthy lashes you know what i mean uh then i'm going with that one from benefit and then this one is also from wonder beauty this is the unlashed volume and curl mascara again kind of one that i've been testing out but so far i really have been quite liking it so i'm trying to get a review going for this one so i threw it into the essentials bag to try out so that's everything in this first bag and let's jump over to the second bag and then finish this off actually i had one more mascara pulled out the ColourPop bff mascara this is what i use today i was testing it out i did review it and 
I like it again it's not like an absolute favorite of mine but it makes my lashes kind of like fluffier which I do appreciate I get a little bit of flaking after a while but um, I also did have this one it just spilled out onto the floor and then also my setting spray that I've been using this is from Mac it's one of their fix plus this is the lavender one it's so weird I feel like I grabbed this because lavender is supposed to have like you know it's supposed to be like um, like calming and whatnot and I felt like I've just needed that over the past few weeks it's been very you know it's a very stressful time moving and moving to a new city and, and all of that and moving on to this next bag so for my bronzers um this is the contour that i have on today this is from the balm it's the take home the bronze in oliver this is just a favorite of mine it's also in my 9 and 2019 project pan um, i wear this almost daily so of course that had to come out with me like I said, I have the Jouer Bronzer Duo. This is the light one, the light to medium duo. This is what I have on today as well. Again, I really do like it for the mirror, but it's just a beautiful bronzer duo. Uh, of course, my Marc Jacobs had to come with me. Like it just, this one's just always out on my desk anyways. I think that it's so beautiful, the Omega Tantastic Bronzer. And this one has a really, really nice mirror too. So <sighs> that came in handy multiple times. And then the, I have so many bronzers. I love bronzers. This is kind of ridiculous. But the Milani bronzer, the uh, Sunlight, the Silky Matte Bronzer in a Sunlight. This one has been so good. So many people have been raving about this bronzer recently, and I really do enjoy it. Uh, I can also use this as a contour as well because it's a little bit more cool toned. So that's nice. And then uh, this one from Pure. I was reviewing this one recently, but also I, I did just get my review posted of it. But again, I just, I just quite like it. A little bit more cool toned as well, so I can use it for contour or bronzer or kind of like mix and match some of these. But this one from here is another bronzer that I have and then I just have my eye products left to talk about so I'm just gonna go ahead and set these back here obviously that was gonna happen uh, so moving on to the eye products that I chose out uh, of course I have my Natasha Denona mini nude eyeshadow palette I use this in bright eyes video and I just use this all of the time like I this is just one of my go-to palettes so of course that one had to stay out I also have from Urban Decay, this is one of their heavy metal glitter liners. This one is in the shade Grind. I just have this one on me so often. Like sometimes I'll just do a look where I place like a little bit of shadow all over the lid and I'll just take this liner and kind of like just a little bit in the center of the lid for like a, the fastest halo eye in the world and I just think it looks really pretty. So I have this one with me quite a bit. I also have a Stila uh, Glitter and Glow pulled out. This one is in Rose Gold Retro. I've been doing a lot of these glitter looks recently because I feel like they're really fast. Again, that's what I did for Friday's video. And I really do like these from Stila. Rose Gold Retro and Kitten Karma are probably two of my favorites. And then Smoldering Satin is also really beautiful. And from ColourPop, I have this one here. This is so surprising to me, but this has been out and pulled out for the longest time. This is one of the Kathleen Lights uh, uh, um, Zodiac pigments, and this is in the scales. I just think that this is beautiful. It's just this, uh, just you get so much pink, but then there's also just a bunch of sparkle with it. I think that it's beautiful, and I think that it's fairly easy to use as well. Again, I just recently reviewed these, but the scales has to be my favorite for like my everyday kind of just go-to. Otherwise, I like the Ram for like to amp up a look because it's orange and gold, but this is just so pretty. It's just been out with me for such a long time, so that is that's really surprising to me. I wouldn't have expected to love it. And then I have three eyeshadow palettes that I just kind of kept out, and these stayed out with me until moving morning. I showed, I, I put these on my Instagram stories and said the final three palettes to get packed up. And we have one from Anastasia, the Soft Glam. I feel like I just have so many options in here with the Soft Glam. It's just, it's this one is probably my favorite Anastasia palette at the moment. It's just very me, um, and I just really enjoy it for the mattes, for the shimmers. I just think that it's beautiful, so Soft Glam stayed out with me. Also... The Urban Decay Naked Reloaded. I really quite enjoyed this palette. I put it in my most recent palette ranking video, and I was like, I know there's a lot of there's a lot of different reviews out there right now for it, but some of the reviews are not so great. But I actually quite enjoy it. I've been reaching into this one quite a bit. I like it, and I wanted it to stay out with me, so it did. And then the palette that I have on my eyes today, if you were curious about my eye makeup. The ColourPop Sweet Talk palette. This was in their spring collection. Again, I put this in my most recent palette ranking video, and I think that it's a beautiful palette. I have a little bit of Meadow, and in case you missed it, so these two corals right here, and then the glitter I have is in Early Morning. That is what is all over my lid, and I just think this palette's beautiful. I love the corals in here. I love the mattes. Uh, I just, 
I think it's a beautiful palette, so this one had to stay out with me until the very end, along with Anastasia and Urban Decay. But after that, that's everything that has been pulled out from my Essentials makeup bag. These are the products that I've been wearing so much over the last couple weeks here as we've been in this process of moving. I hope that you enjoyed this video or you found it fun. I don't know if anything's going to be like super shocking that I had in my Essentials bag because a lot of these products are the ones that I talk about a lot, I recommend a lot. You probably see, you know, list it in my description box quite a bit under the, the makeup that I'm wearing but thank you for all the requests for this one because this was a good idea again for me to be able to just kind of chill sit down and, and get this filmed so I hope you enjoyed it I of course would love to know your thoughts down below and as always if you guys did enjoy this one I hope that you'll give it a thumbs up I hope that you also consider subscribing before you go and I'll catch you guys in tomorrow's video